Jerry at Fair Oaks. I wonder what they'll look like, Lee. What do you mean, what they'll look like? Who do you mean? I mean, Mr. Randall and Bumps. Oh, Jerry, for the love of Mike. But you've only been away from them about four months. They'll look the same as they did when you saw them last. Four yeah. months? Is that all it's been? <laughs> sure. Oh, gee, it certainly seems longer than that. Well, sure, because so much has happened since you've come to Fair Oaks. That's why it seems like such a long time. Just think, our first argument with Red Morrison, and then meeting all the fellas, and then painting the smokestack on the powerhouse, and... Then Harold Linwell almost drowning. Yeah, and after that, all the trouble about Harold's dad. Mm, yeah, the crack up of his plane and those men kidnapping Harold. Uh huh. Gee. And now this is the day of the ride and meet with Fair Oaks and Edson. Yep. Your first day to show what you've got, Jerry. Yep. Well, all I can do is to ride the best I can and let the horse do the rest. Mm hmm. Hey, listen. Hey, you're right. That's the train. Ah, oh, gee, I can hardly wait. See, I wonder if this is the streamliner. Oh, sure it's the streamliner. Don't you remember? That's what Mr. Randall's letter said. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yep, you're right. Lee? Lee? Yeah? What's the matter? Nothing, only... Well, I wonder if Mr. Randall and Bumps will bring my dog. Oh, Rags. I forgot all about Rags. You did, huh? No, I didn't. No, I'll bet you didn't. There are a lot of people getting off here at Fair Oaks today, aren't there? Uh-huh. I'll bet some of those people are fathers and mothers of cadets at Fair Oaks. The mothers are mothers and fathers of kids from Edson. Of course, the Edson team and rooters got in yesterday. Jerry! Huh? Oh, what'd you say? Oh, I'm sorry, fella. I forgot. I, I didn't realize... There they you. are! Hey, there they are! Mr. Randall! Uh, Mr. Randall, come out! Oh, 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 are you? Gosh, I, I wish... I kind of wish that... Hey, come on, Lee. Yeah. Okay, coming. Well, well, Jerry Dugan, if you haven't grown about six inches, I'll eat my hand. What do you think, Bump? Grown? <laughs> hey, I should hope to tell you Jerry's grown. Why, oh, see, I never would have known him, except he's got that Dugan smile all over his map. <laughs> hey, Sam? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dugan smile. <laughs> oh, say, uh, this is your roommate, isn't it, Jerry? Uh, Lee Phillips. Hey, yes, sir. Uh, Lee, you remember Mr. Randall, don't you? Oh, yes, Jerry, I do. How do you do, Mr. Randall? Oh, Lee. You too, Mr. Bumps. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bumps. Gee, how do you like that, Bumps? Yeah, <laughs> well, 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 okay. Hey, gee, Mr. Randall, I, I'm sure glad to see you. Well, Jerry, maybe you don't think I'm glad to see you. What do you think of the rest of the folks in Randall Brothers Circus wouldn't have given to have been here today? Hmm? Just to see you ride Splendor in your first riding meet. Isn't that right, Bob? It sure is, Sam. <laughs> well, say, Jason and his helpers and, and all the roustabouts and, and Leo and uh, Jim Bennett yeah. and Slats. And, and, and what about Patsy, Bob? Patsy? Oh, say, listen, Jerry, you remember that Patsy's over in Ireland. In Ireland? Why, sure, Jerry. Patsy went over there to see her godmother, don't you remember? Oh, yeah, sure I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, now, don't you think we'd better be getting up to school, Jerry? Say, hey, that's right. Uh, what time does this meet of yours come off, Jerry? At 2.15 this afternoon. 2.15, uh -huh. huh? Well, that's fine. That'll give us plenty of time to look around your school, boys. Yeah, that's right. We didn't have much time to look around the last time we were here. Remember, Jerry? Gee, I sure do. 
And that was the time I had to say goodbye to Rags, too. Remember, Mr. Randall? Oh, yeah, yeah, Jerry. I remember that just as if it was yesterday. I say, Bumps, uh, maybe you'd better go down and pick up the baggage. Uh, we'll wait for you over by the taxi cab. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, all right, Sam. I'll be right back. Uh, Not the taxi cabs, Bumps. That sedan over there. Uh, see it? Mm. Oh, yeah, yes, Jerry. I'll be there in just a minute. Uh, sedan? Say, don't tell me you're driving a car now, too, Jerry. Oh, no. Uh, Lee's going to drive the car. Since Major Davis found out Lee knows so much about cars and motors and stuff, he lets Lee drive his car all the time. Oh, <laughs> I see. Say, I'm glad you wrote me a letter about your friend Harold's escape, Jerry. My goodness, when I didn't hear from you for about a week, I didn't know hey, whether... What, what's that? Um, uh, uh, what's what, Jerry? Well, I, I thought Jerry, I... Jerry, that's your dog. My... my... Oh, Rag! Hey, Rag! Hello, fella. Oh, gee, that was swell of you, Mr. Randall, bringing Jerry's dog here with you. You know, nothing could have meant more to him than Rags is being here. Oh, no, not even Bumps or me, Lee? Well, I mean... Nothing... I know what you mean, Lee. Sure, it's going to mean everything to Jerry. With Rags as his mascot today, well, uh, the Fair Oaks riding team just won't lose, am I right? Well, I, I sure hope so, Mr. Randall. Oh, come on, boy. Come on, Rags. Oh, gee, Mr. Randall. Isn't that swell, Jerry? You've got a mascot for riding today. Well, oh, gee. Come here, Rags, boy. Come on, come on. Sit up. Oh, oh, golly, he remembers. Uh, well, come on, Jerry. Don't you think we'd better be getting up to the school? You've got to put on your riding togs, you know. Riding togs? Oh, oh sure I do. I almost forgot. Hey, but uh, how did you know, Mr. Randall? How did I know? <laughs> did you get that, bump? <laughs> yeah, Sam. Oh, don't you realize that Mr. Randall knows you can't ride properly in that uniform after 30 years of running circuses? Oh, sure, of course. Well, here's the car right here, gentlemen. Oh, cut it out, Lee. You sound like Bruce. <laughs> oh, Bruce? Who's was Bruce, Jerry? What's the matter with him? Well, here we go. Uh, Jerry, uh, you didn't answer me about this Bruce fella. Who is he? Oh, well, he's just a cadet here at Fair Oaks, Mr. Randall. Mm. I didn't mean anything by mentioning him. Uh, mm, I see. Uh, say, this town hasn't changed much since we were here last, has it, Bumps? No, no, Sam. Looks just about the same. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's that building there, Lee? Oh, that's the city hall, Mr. Randall. Oh, sure, sure. I remember. Say, uh, isn't Mr. McLeod's store somewhere Come on, Rags, area? lie down. Huh? Oh, what did you say, Mr. Randall? Uh, oh, Max Door. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's uh, right up ahead uh, there in the next block. Uh -huh. uh, would you like to stop in for a few minutes? Well, yes, if you have the time to spare, Jerry. Oh, sure. I don't have to be over there at the stables till 1 o'clock. Well, fine, I'll be interested to meet Mac. You told me so much about him in your letter, son, and I almost feel as though I know him already. <laughs> it's true. I'll have to park on this side of the street. Is that all right? Oh, sure. We can still walk that far, can't we, Bumps? Uh, if you don't quit eating so many of Leo's hot cakes in the morning, Sam Randall, we'll have to put you on the stretcher. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say, it doesn't look as though anybody's in Mac's place. No. Nope. Maybe all the other cadets are getting ready for the meet. No, I know what they're doing. Getting instructions from Captain Gardner on how to entertain the cadets from Edson. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got permission to come to meet you and Bumps, Mr. Randall. Well, that's mighty fine. Well, just a minute, Mr. Randall. I'll open the door. Well, thanks, Lee, but don't take that crack of Bumps about uh, the hotcakes too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little musical talent, huh? Oh, that's Mac in the back room again. He never hears the bell. I don't know why he has it. Oh, Mac! Mac! Oh, boy! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Randall, Mr. Bump, sit down over here. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, 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 Jerry and Lee. <laughs> How, How are, are you, man? man? Uh, how are you, boys? Mac, uh, uh, Mr. McLeod, uh, I'd like to have you meet two awful good friends of mine from the circus. Oh. This is Bumps, and this is Mr. Randall. Well, no greetings, gentlemen, greetings, and welcome to Fair Oaks. Well, thank you, Mr. McLeod. Yeah, it's a mighty big pleasure meeting the real Mac in person. <laughs> yeah, not in a motion picture, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it certainly is a pleasure for me to meet you two gentlemen, such good friends of Jerry Dugan's. Uh, it is a great pleasure, and on such a great day for the lad, eh, Mr. Randall? Well, I should say it is a great day for Jerry. Well, just think... Jerry of the Circus, riding for Fair Oaks Military Academy and, and mounted on Little Splendor. Uh, uh, <clears throat> well, gentlemen and lads, uh, what will you hear the new? Mind, this is on Mac. Uh, I, I don't think I'd better take anything right now, Mac, thanks. Sergeant Alden is making us eat a special lunch today. Uh, here, here, something's wrong. What's up? Jerry, is, is there anything the matter with Splendor? He, he 
he sick, Mr. Randall. Sick? Well, what happened? How'd he get sick? He's had good care, hasn't he? Oh, gee, yeah, he's had the best of care, but, well, I'll tell you all about it later. Uh, we were afraid Jerry wasn't going to ride in the meet today, Mr. Randall. That is, when we found out Splendor couldn't be in it. Uh, but Jerry finally saw the list, and he's going to ride this day for Fair Oaks, aren't you, lad? You bet I'm going to ride, and I'm going to do the best I can because Sergeant Alden says everybody's counting on me, including Splendor. Oh, that's the way to talk, son, and Fair Oaks is going to win that meet today. You'll see. Say, with that stentorian voice of Sam Randall's out there rooting for Fair Oaks, you can't lose, Jerry. <laughs> stentorian? <laughs> oh, what's that mean, Bumps? Uh, well, it means, uh, uh, as in foghorn, Jerry. <laughs> 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 uh, well, uh, have you decided what you're going to have, gentlemen? Oh, I couldn't eat a thing, Mr. McLeod. Thanks just the same. Well, I, I can. I bet you can, too. Can't you, Lee? Yes, sir. Anytime. That's the way to talk. Oh, well, guess I will break down then and have some ice cream. I, uh, that's the way. What flavor? Oh, I'll have vanilla, I guess. Uh, Lee? Uh, the same, thank you. Uh, and uh, you won't break training rules, huh, Jerry? No, sir. Thanks just the same. Uh, make mine strawberry, Mac, just to be different. I, uh, two vanilla and one strawberry. Well, I guess I'd better be getting over to the mess hall. I still got to put on my dress uniform and riding boots, too. Well, son, you know you know that Sam Randall is wishing you the best of luck today, don't you? Yes, sir, I know that. And, well, thanks for coming today, Mr. Randall. That's all right, Jerry. I'm, I'm going to get a great kick out of this day. You bet. Yeah, and that goes for me, too, Jerry. And all the rest of the folks at Winter Quarters are rooting for you, too. They made me promise to call them long distance the minute the meet's over and tell them how Fair Oaks came out. Uh, say, you mean, you mean they told you to let them know how many points Fair Oaks was ahead at the end of the meet, Bob? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> there you are, gentlemen. Jerry... My hand on your success this day, I... Uh, my hand on it. You mon get into that field and ride as you've never ridden before you can. I know, Mac, and, and thank you, too. Uh, well, well, good luck, Jerry. Well, goodbye, well, Jerry. Goodbye. Yes. Yes. Good luck, Jerry. Jerry. We'll yeah. be rooting for you. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. Well, there he goes. Uh, and what a lad. Uh, you bet he's a great lad, Mr. McLeod. We sure miss him with the circus. Don't we, Sam? Miss him? Say, there hasn't been anything exciting happening around the, that troop since he left. <laughs> Why, that boy could get into more trouble and out of it faster than any ten youngsters I've ever seen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jerry's had a little trouble since he's been at Fair Oaks, too. Uh, yes, I know, Lee. With this boy, uh, Red Morrison, you mean. Yes, sir, that's part of it. Yeah, Jerry told me a little about that, too. Yeah. Well, I think we'd better be getting over to wherever this meet's going to be held. Oh, on the polo field, sir. Oh, yes. Well, well, Mac, uh, thanks for the treat. I should say. We'll be seeing you over there, won't we, Mr. McLeod? Uh, you will. I uh, wouldn't miss Jerry's first performance as a pivot man for all the business in the world. Yeah, I guess we all feel about the same way. You <laughs> bet we do. And here's wishing Fair Oaks goes in there this afternoon and wallops the daylights out of Edson. <laughs> 